నమస్కారం వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు ద సిక్స్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ లాప్లై స్టాండ్ ఫామ్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద సొల్యూషన్స్ ఆఫ్ ప్రీవియస్ హోంవర్క్ టుడే వీ విల్ బీ డిస్కసింగ్ కన్వల్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ టూ ఫంక్షన్స్ కన్వల్యూషన్ థీరమ్ ఆఫ్ లాప్లైస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ అండ్ ఇన్వెన్స్ లాప్లైస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ యూజింగ్ కన్వల్యూషన్ థీరమ్ దీస్ ఆర్ ద లర్నింగ్ అవుట్కమ్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ ద కన్వల్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ టూ ఫంక్షన్స్ f of t and g of t is defined by integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du and it is denoted by f star g of t here the limits of this integration are 0 and t therefore this integral is a function of t so f star g is a function of t by definition f star g of t is equal to integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du we introduce a new variable v such that then dv equal to minus du and here u is varying from 0 to t v is varying from t to 0 so this integral become this integral is t to 0 but there is a minus sign so minus of integral t to 0 become 0 to t so this whole integral become then what is this yes this is g star of so f star g of t equal to g star of, of t therefore this integral is equal to integral 0 to t g of u f of t minus u du so this is equal to g star f of t so f star g of t is always equal to g star f of t this property is called commutative property of the convolution a problem find the convolution of e raised to t and t we take e raised to t as f of t and t as g of t so by definition this is equal to integral 0 to t f of u g of t minus u du this is equal to by expanding we get so this become and this is equal to e raise to 0 is 1 so this become this is t raised to t this is minus t raised to t so this become so this is the convolution of e raised to t and t if you evaluate t star e raised to t instead of e raised to t star t then you will get the same answer but the computation complexity may be different so this is the answer next problem find the convolution of t and 1 okay we choose t as f of t and 1 as g of t by definition this is equal to integral 0 to t here f of t is t so f of u is u and g of t is 1 so g of t minus u is remains 1 so this integral become therefore so here t star 1 equal to t square by 2 that means t star 1 is not equal to t so in general f of t star 1 is not equal to f of t so the answer is t square by 2 as a remark in general f star 1 of t is not equal to f of t next we are going to analyze what is l of f of t into l of g of t is it l of f of t into g of t no let's see why it is no consider the example f of t equal to e raised to t and g of t equal to 1 first we are going to compute l of f of t into l of g of t 
that is equal to l of e raised to t into l of 1. We know that l of e raised to t is 1 by s minus 1 and l of 1 is 1 by s. Next we consider l of f of t into g of t. Here f of t is e raised to t and g of t is 1. So the product become e raised to t. So this is equal to l of e raised to t. That is equal to 1 by s minus 1. From this example it is clear that they are not equal. So in general l of f of t into l of g of t is not equal to l of f of t into g of t. Still our question is there. What is l of f of t into l of g of t? This search will end up in the next theorem that is convolution theorem. It states that l of f of t into l of g of t equal to l of f star g that is our convolution which is equal to l inverse of this product f of s into g of s that is equal to f star g where f of s is the Laplace transform of f of t and g of s is the Laplace transform of g of t. So l inverse of f of s into g of s equal to f star g of t. As a note, for some problems we compute g star f instead of f star g depending on which integral is easy. Problem use convolution theorem evaluate l inverse of 1 by s into s minus a. So given problem is 1 l inverse of 1 by s into 1 by s minus a. Here we choose 1 by s as capital F of s and 1 by s minus a as capital G of s. By convolution theorem this is equal to f star g of t. where f of t equal to l inverse of f of s that is equal to l inverse of 1 by s this is equal to 1 similarly g of t equal to so f of t equal to 1 and g of t equal to e raised to a t. Instead of computing f star g, we compute g star f. This is equal to this is equal to g of t is e raised to a t. So g of u is e raised to a u. f of t is 1. So f of t minus u remains 1. So answer is e raised to a t minus 1 by a. Next problem, evaluate l inverse of 1 by s square plus 9 whole square. l inverse of 1 by s square plus 9 whole square equal to l inverse of 1 by s square plus 3 square into 1 by s square plus 3 square. Here f of s and g of s both are 1 by s square plus 3 square. So this is equal to f star g where f of t equal to l inverse of f of s that is equal to l inverse of 1 by s square plus 3 square this is equal to sin 3 t by 3 here g of s is same as 1 by s square plus 3 square therefore Therefore, L inverse of 1 by S square plus 9 whole square is equal to F star G of T. That is equal to integral 0 to T F of U, G of T minus U, D. That is equal to one by three into one by three, that is one by nine, take outside. Now this is of the form sin a sin b. So this is equal to this is equal to 1 by 18 
this is integration with respect to u so cos 3t is a constant so this integral become sin minus 3t equal to minus of sin 3t and this minus minus become plus so this term become plus sin 3t by 6 and first term also plus sin 3t by 6 so sum of these two become 2 times sin 3t by 6 so this so this is equal to so this is equal to So this is the answer. You should solve all these problems for the better understanding of the concept. With these 6 lectures, we have completed all the relevant topics from module 4. See you soon with one more lecture for discussing more problems on Universal Applied Stanford. Thank you.